Hey everyone, for this lesson on midpoint and distance, we're actually going to do three separate videos. So in this first video, we'll talk about midpoint. In the second video, we'll talk about the midpoint formula. And in the third video, which we'll actually do tomorrow, we will talk about distance. First though, we're going to review a couple concepts that we've talked about recently. So find the length of segment CD. For that, we are going to use the segment addition postulate, which says if I add segment CD's length to the length of segment DE, I will get the length of segment CE. So the length of segment CE is 7 plus 15. Okay, so CE has a length of 22. Okay, number two, plot these points F, G, H, and J. So we're going to plot all four of those points. So F is negative 3, 5, G, 2, 5, H, 3, 1, and J, 3, negative 3. Okay, now are segments FG and HJ congruent? FG, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The length of FG is 5. HJ, 1, 2, 3, 4. The length of HJ is 4. They do not have the same length, so I would say that segment FG and segment HJ are not congruent. Find the length of segment KL. There's two different ways we could do this. First, let's use the ruler postulate. That says the length of KL is equal to the absolute value of the difference of the two coordinates. The two coordinates are negative 3 and positive 4, and the difference means subtract them. Okay, so that is the absolute value of negative 7. So KL has a length of 7. I could just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so that's our little review section. Now on to midpoint. A midpoint is the point that divides a segment into two congruent segments. Okay, so it cuts a segment in half, which really means a mid-segment, I'm sorry, a midpoint is actually a type of a segment bisector, okay? A midpoint cuts a segment in half, so does anything else that's a segment bisector. A segment bisector could be a point, which would be the midpoint. It could be a ray, line, line segment, or a plane, anything that cuts a segment in half which really means that it intersects the segment at its midpoint. So here is a skateboard design. In that design, segment VW, this one right here, bisects segment XY. So it cuts XY in half right here at point T. So point T is the midpoint. Now, if this segment is bisected, if XY is bisected, that means XT and YT are the same, which is why it has these tick marks on it. So XT is 39.9 centimeters. Well, that tells me that YT is also 39.9 centimeters. Find the length of XY. Okay, so X, Y, segment addition postulate says I can add those 39.9 plus 39.9. Okay, so I'll get out my calculator. 39.9 plus 39.9 is 79.8. So X, Y has a length of 79.8, and this is in centimeters. Okay, point M is the midpoint, so that means these two sides are congruent. That's why it has tick marks. Find the length 
of V, uh, oops, went too far there, V, M. So from here to here. Okay, so since these have the same length, I can set the expressions equal to each other. 4x minus 1 is equal to 3x plus 3. So I will subtract 3x from both sides. And since I canceled out the variables here, I'm going to cancel out the constant on the other side. So 4x minus 3x is 1x. 3 plus 1 is 4. So we have the value of x, and sometimes it's really tempting to stop once we have the value of x. This does not say find the value of x. It says find the length of vm. The value of x is something we had to do in order to get there. So I will plug in my value of x right here. So 4 times 4 minus 1. That's 16 minus 1, so vm has a length of 15. Now before I put a box around it, here's an easy way to check. These two should be the same, so I'll put that 4 right here for x. 3 times 4 plus 3. That's 12 plus 3. That is also 15. They are the same. That's good because they. this is a midpoint, so these should be congruent. So vm equals 15 would be correct. All right. Identify the segment bisector of PQ. So here's segment PQ. The bisector is right here. It is ray MN. So ray MN is the bisector. Is the segment bisector. I should use that word. Is the segment bisector. Find the length of PQ. So if 1 and 7 eighths is the length here of PM, then QM is also 1 and 7 eighths. Okay, so I can add those two together. So PQ is 1 and, one and 7 eighths plus 1 and 7 eighths. Okay, now I can do that on this calculator. Okay, so I can use this button right here, the second function, so second, and then this mixed number sets me up to put in that fraction. So 1 and 7 eighths plus 1 and 7 eighths, which is really the same as times 2, and it'll be faster and easier to do times 2, and I get 15 fourths. So PQ is 15 fourths. Improper fractions are really nice, especially when you have to do something further with that fraction. In this case, we don't really have to do anything further with it, so I can leave it like that, or I can make it a mixed number. 4 goes into 15 three times, with 3 left over, so that would be the same as 3 and 3 fourths. I could also make that change on this calculator, so I could use this button right here, improper fraction to a mixed number, so second, and then make that change, enter, 3 and 3 fourths. Okay, once again, identify the segment bisector of PQ, so that's right here, this line cuts PQ in half, line L is the segment bisector. Okay, then find the length of PQ. So this time, since these are the same length, I'll set them equal to each other. 5x minus 7 equals 11 minus 2x. I would add this 2x to both sides because it's smaller than the 5x. Okay, and since I'm canceling out variables here, I will cancel out constants here. And that will give me 7x equals 18. So when I divide, I get x equals 18 over 7. I really want to leave that improper fraction because I have to use it here in order to find these two lengths. By the way, these two lengths should be the same when I plug in 18 sevenths. 
So 5 times 18 sevenths minus 7. Okay, so 5 times, then I'll use the n over d, 18 over 7 minus 7 is 41 sevenths. Now this side better also be 41 sevenths. 11 minus 2 times 18 sevenths. 11 minus 2 times 18 over 7 is 41 sevenths. Okay, so I know I did this correctly. So 41 sevenths plus 41 sevenths, which just means I can take this 41 sevenths and do times 2, and I get 82 sevenths. So PQ is 82 sevenths. Or I could write it as a mixed number, 11 and 5 sevenths. Either version of the answer will work.